Alright, we are back with another review and today. We're gonna be doing my top five, not in any order, self-defense slash EDC tools that you can make and print in 2025. And this one, I'm actually gonna even leave links to all the models down below so you can go get these models and print them yourself if you like. So uh, without further ado, let's hop right into this little review and let's check out the top five, not in any order, uh, self-defense items that you can print for 2025. So straight out the gate, I took a lot of these models and I put my own little twist on them to make them a little bit more potent, um, if you know what I mean. And speaking of potent, we're going to talk about, uh, we're going to start off with a knife. I know a lot of people are like, how do you do 3D printed knives and make them effective? So you can think of a knife as something that's going to be a permanent fixture, or you can think of a knife as something that's going to be a getaway quick tool that is disposable. So something like this is what I was kind of going with with this, and I thought of it more of a disposable type of a self-defense tool. And as you can see here, we got a standard knife. I got 100% infill for the plastic, and you can see the blade is a different color. The blade is carbon fiber infill. So it's going to have little fibers that are going to be mixed in with the plastic, PLA, the plastic, um, that are going to give it more of a barbed type feel, basically. If you rub your fingers on the blade, you will get tiny little barbs in your fingertips um, or whatever you rub it on. Uh, the black plastic does not have that. It's just basically um, just straight PLA. Um, this one was a matte PLA. So uh, just the tip right here is essentially the dangerous part for you to basically have, you know, put inside of you. Because essentially if you get stabbed with this, you're going to have a bunch of little barbs get inside your flesh and dig in there and embed themselves. It's going to be itchy. It's going to be very uncomfortable. And even if you see this little weak point right here where there's this large circle, you could even snap it off inside the perpetrator who is essentially trying to do you harm. Uh, you could just essentially snap it off inside them, which is, again, part of that disposable aspect. This is going to be something nasty you're not going to want to have stuck in you. You can see here it is a tan color PLA, and you can see the gradient of those little black fibers. Now, again, on a microscopic scale, if you rub your hand on it, it's going to get embedded inside of your flesh. You definitely don't want to be touching the blades, um, you know, like holding them in your hand and rubbing them and stuff like that. It's going to be something where once you get that inside of you, it's not going to be fun. It's going to be nasty. You can look up some of the uh, safe ways to handle carbon fiber infill. Uh, PLA so or filament if you want to be able to actually learn a little more about how it works but I did a multicolor print on this particular one and I set the uh, blade for particular it's uh, carbon fiber I made sure that I had that set for the multicolor print so that I can get the right temperature the right flow rate because the carbon fiber infill is also very brittle so I wanted to make sure that I was able to print this uh, and I did print them flat and I did support tree supports on this side. It looks a little more rough than this side. This side was down and I did tree supports. So um, that allowed me to get a perfect print on the blade. Um, so, and I did carbon fiber tree supports as well, which made it even stronger when it was laying the layer lines down. Um, and again, by printing it flat, it stacked the layers from top to bottom or bottom to top, I should say, because it starts at the bottom, uh, versus doing it vertically like this, it's going to create layers this way. And when the layers are created this way, you have more of a chance of this prematurely breaking if you're trying to use this as a tool. Um, the, the ability to break this is going to be something that you're going to be able to choose once it's been embedded inside the perpetrator, if that makes sense. Um, again, stacking and the orientation of the way that we printed these items today is going to make a huge difference on how they're being used as a tool. So again, these were laid flat, so it's going to give you more strength when you're doing a stabbing type of motion. Speaking of stabbing type motion, let's move into the next one, which is the um, basically it's like a pressure point. This is going to be a pressure point, um, get out, get out of the situation tool. Um, Kubatai or Kubatai, I think is what it's called, but it's basically like meant for like to be a keychain. And this model right here, I did the same thing. I laid it flat. And as you can see here with the layers, they're stacked on top of each other. I did a hundred percent infill on this and had a little bit of a, uh, skirt or a brim, I should say, and that just trimmed that off, and then I used my little 
um, deburr tool to kind of scrape off all the crap so it's not rough on the hands. But again, this is something that's highly effective. You can hit this in the right spots. You could definitely um, get out of the situation if you need to. Again, uh, this will work for anyone, um, you know, with the ability to kind of just move their hands around because you just need to kind of swing this around into the right spots. And again, not a video to teach you how to use these tools. You just kind of figure that out on your own. Now, the next thing that I am going to show you is kind of a little different thing, but uh, definitely something that I wanted to bring to the table here, and that is going to be some broadhead spear tips. Now, these tips um, are meant to be screwed into pretty much any standard mop or broom head. That's the, uh, the thread pattern for this, and I'm handling this one because this one's not carbon fiber infilled uh, as much as I want to uh, show you these, which I can kind of show you there. You can see the same as those blades. They do have the striation of the carbon infill fibers. But I also did it with a fuzzy pattern to kind of allow the fibers, the carbon fiber fibers to even raise up even more. So once this is embedded into, you know, somebody who you're trying to defend yourself against, um, this will allow you to get even more of those fibers into their flesh to make it even more discomforting for them. Um, so again, this one's just standard uh, matte PLA printed with fuzzy. Uh, that is carbon fiber uh, filled gray with, you know, fuzzy filled uh, print. So yeah, again, you screw these on any one of your brooms or mops, and now you have a formidable spear that is going to do some nasty work. And again, this is something else where once this has been embedded inside of your um, you know, perpetrator, you can always just, you know, obviously just bend and leave the item, you know, embedded inside the person for even, you know, more torment so they have to deal with that and you can get away, if that makes any sense. Um, something like this, once it's been embedded inside of you and they're struggling to get it out, they're not only grabbing this and getting it all over their hands by trying to pull it out of themselves, but they're probably wiggling it and getting more, you know, fiber infill getting embedded into their flesh. So that's something for sure that you could definitely use as, or, you know, around your home, you could probably have mops and brooms. So you could probably get yourself a broom handle pretty easy for something like that. And again, it's fuzzy, uh, in fuzzy pattern for the print and carbon fiber info for the actual spearheads. So speaking of spearheads, we're going to go to one more carbon fiber filled one. And I'm going to show you a standard print with not carbon fiber filled. Um, and again, I used a hardened steel nozzle for these with my Bamboo Lab printer. Uh, these were all printed on the A1 Mini. Actually, everything today has been printed on the A1 Mini. Um, so yeah, you can print these on the smallest uh, offering that they have. These right here are going to be some of my arrowheads, which are phenomenal. Again, more carbon filled. We yeah, printed that. Hey, there we go. A little bit more better. There we go. Now you can see the carbon fiber fibers through there it's gray it's supposed to be just a straight gray pla it would look like here let's grab my last one and i'll show you what it actually would look like so there's gray that's straight gray this is gray with carbon fiber infill so you can definitely see the fibers this wouldn't be something i would want to shoot into like game or something that i'm eating or consuming the meat because i definitely wouldn't want to have all these fibers like marring up the meat that i'm going to be consuming so something like this these again would be all for self-defense um, most people have these standard size arrows um, arrowheads right here so this would be like very standard for pretty much anyone who would have uh, any type of arrow you can just literally swap them out for these and make it a little bit more a little more uncomfortable for the person who's on the receiving end of that. Lastly, as you can see, are some knuckle dusters. Again, 100% infill for the printing on these. Um, they work really well for adding a little more weight, if you know what I mean. Plus, you got these really nice uh, sharp corners here, which uh, probably wouldn't feel good, again, to be on the receiving end of that. I did have a little bit of a layer shift here towards the bottom, but again, it's 100% infill, so... Uh, yeah, it's, and it was, you know, printed on a bed slinger. So you're going to get something like that, but I wasn't going to print two of these. I don't need two. Um, so we just printed the one and we're, we're going to go with this model because yeah, even with that little layer shift, you're going to get some layer shift in someone's face if they decide that they want to, um, you know, challenge you or try to take your life or something like that. And this is going to be something that's going to at least give you a bit of an edge, um, that you can, you know, that you can print again, hundred percent infill on this. And we did the same type of technology with this. They were, they were, the original model was standing up, ended up laying it flat. So you get all those layers to stack up on this. So now you have, 
You know, instead of having weak spots all along the way those layers are laid down, the layers are laid this way, which are going to give you strength across the front of your knuckles. So, again, it's all about the way you print these items as well to make them the most effective tools as possible. And then again, also choosing the type of filament. If you wanted these, if you, I spill those, if you want to look at the camera, if you wanted these to not break off, you could maybe print them in PETG. Same thing goes with this. But again, this is going to be something where it's 100% infill. Um, and the fact that it's PLA or PTG, this isn't really going to break, um, you know, because you're literally bracing most of it with your hand. Um, but something like this, if you didn't want them to break at these weak points, you could always print this in something like PETG. Same thing goes for this. You could always do this in PETG as well. Um, I wanted that matte look for them. But uh, yeah, it would be extremely glossy if it was printed in that uh, different type of filament as well. So yeah, you got some carbon fiber infilled dangerous weapons here very uncomfortable if you get this stuff in your skin so why don't you let me know down in the comments below what do you think of my little scatter pattern not a, not a top five in any order but top five uh self-defense weapons that you can print today in 2025 again with the models down below which one of these was your favorite uh is there anything that could have done better with printing these or maybe tweak these a little bit better to get a more effective tool out of these let me know all that down in the comments below and if you like this video give it a thumbs up one more content like this subscribe for more and have a great rest of your day